So we found that by week eight, over half the people achieved a 50% reduction in what we call IGA times BSA. That IGA BSA is investigative global assessment multiplied by body surface area. And that assessment's becoming used more and more to determine meaningful responses. Because BSA, looking at BSA is not enough. And dermatologists in private practice don't do PASI, which is a much more involved way of determining improvements. So we wanted to have a, an efficacy endpoint that's very practical for people in, in practice. So it's very simple to do an investigator global assessment on a, on a four or five point scale. And then you have the determining of body surface area and you multiply those together. And this shows we get a clinical, clinical meaningful response, but this is showing again how this type of endpoint can really give us important information on the efficacy of a product. Yes, the outcomes for the Hispanic population was really similar to other population subtypes. Um, and that's one nice thing about Duobri, it's an effective product with, even though it has a, it's a combination product, which again, gives it, theoretically gives it enhanced efficacy, it works just as well in the Hispanic population as it does in other skin of color population and in, including non-skin of color population. We did not see any difference in adverse events in this population as compared to other skin of color populations or as compared to non-skin of color population. It was really the same. Uh, this product uh, was very safe in all populations and I think part of it's due to the combination where tazeratine and the halobetasol work well together and theoretically, again this is in theory, can limit each, limit each other's adverse events and adverse outcomes. One other thing that's notable in the trial is that the Hispanic subset population performed very similar to the general population in terms of maintenance of efficacy after the product was discontinued. The study went eight weeks and we saw a, an average of 51% reduction in, in, in people who had uh, the product. If when we stopped it for the duration, we had a four week um, time frame where patients had no product, received no product after the eight weeks of therapy and the efficacy was maintained and that's really unusual especially with a product that contains a topical steroid because the efficacy usually wanes pretty quickly.